I have a very simple network here, a wireless router and two laptops. Laptop A is very old and it doesn't have a wireless network card and it's connected with an Ethernet cable to the wireless router. Laptop B on the other hand is connected wirelessly to the router. Now my goal is to transfer some files from laptop B to laptop A. There is a shared folder on laptop B so I should be able to access it from the other laptop and transfer the files. All the devices are on the same subnet and these are their IP addresses. I don't know why it doesn't let me connect. Um, it gives me the message that the network path was not found. It's as if they're not even connected. Um, let me see if I can ping the other one. Ping is a very good troubleshooting tool. When I ping laptop B from laptop A, I actually send ICMP echo request packets to the target and wait for ICMP echo replies. If I don't receive the replies from laptop B, I will see a request timeout message, usually indicating a some sort of connectivity issue somewhere on the route. 192.168.1.86 No, they're timing out. Let's see if I can ping the wireless router. It's 192.168.1.1. Yeah, that is successful. I'm going to log into the wireless router to see if the router itself can ping any of the laptops. It looks like the router can ping laptop B and also laptop A. Now let's see if laptop B can ping laptop A. That would be the opposite direction. What the f That's weird. Everybody's pinging everybody except laptop A is not pinging laptop B. It doesn't make any sense. I need to do something so I can calm down. I have an idea. I'm gonna run a packet captures on laptop B and run a continuous ping from A to B. Then I'm going to inspect the packets to see if laptop B even receives any ICMP echo requests from laptop A. This will give me a better idea on what device is probably blocking the traffic. Okay, I have the continuous ping running from A to B. I also have installed Wireshark which is a free packet analyzer software on laptop B. When I run the software, I just need to choose the network interface that I want to run the packet capture and it should start taking the packet capture immediately. I will let it run for 20 to 30 seconds and then stop it. Because there could be all kinds of packets here, I'm going to filter for ICMP packets only. Interesting. So based on this packet capture, I can see that laptop B is receiving ICMP echo requests from A, but is not replying with ICMP echo reply. I only see one-way ICMP traffic here. This only tells me that laptop P itself is dropping the ICMP traffic. I should check the firewall rules on this laptop. It looks like there is a rule here that even though the name is allow IP range, it is actually a block rule and is blocking all traffic from 192.168.1.100 all the way to 254. That's why the router was able to ping laptop B but laptop A was not. After disabling the firewall rule, the pings are successful now and I can access the shared folder from laptop A. Packet capture also shows bi-directional ICMP echo request and reply traffic. Hmm, I think I should blame the stupid firewall rule for the whole problem. And no one else for not using one of these. I don't know, I better go play with my 